Alright, third day in a row with the Puma shoes, today with the Puma Deviate Nitro. Here you go with some footage as well. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Alex and today we are reviewing and comparing the Puma Nitro lineup for 2021. We have here from left to right the Puma Liberate, the Velocity and the Deviate. Very exciting lineup with that uh, new Nitro foam from uh, Puma. So we'll be uh, going through five main things that you should know about this lineup before buying any shoe um, of the lineup. Uh, I will put the chapters down below so don't hesitate to um, directly jump to the section that's relevant for you. We'll go first of all through the specs of the shoes, second points in common and differences between them, third um, we'll have the positives, four the drawbacks and uh, last but certainly not least we will um, discuss which one you should get and uh, which one I prefer as well. Quick disclaimer before going any further, these shoes were provided to me by Puma thanks to uh, Rod Trade Run uh, for my article on rodtraderun.com so don't hesitate to uh, go on the website and read the article. All right, let's begin with the specs. First of all, the Liberate, the shoe comes at 110 euros, 110 dollars. It weighs 212 grams in my size US 11 and a half E45 and it has a 10 millimeter drop. Then we have the Velocity coming at 120 euros or 120 dollars. It has a 10 millimeter drop as well and weighs 297 grams in my size US 11 and a half E45. And finally, we have the Puma Deviate Nitro. This one comes at 295 grams. It costs 160 euros. I think it's 150 in dollars. And it has an eight millimeter drop, which is two millimeters less uh, compared to the two other shoes, but it has a higher stack both in the heel and in the forefoot. So this is something you may want to consider. Second, let's discuss the common features and differences between all these shoes. They all have this um, nitrogen infused nitro foam from Puma, brand new uh, midsole, midsole foam for 2021. That's a common feature. They all have this gusseted tongue, which really helps for the lockdown. And um, they also have all of them, this uh, orange salmon brick, whatever you want to call it, colorway which is nice but in the same time I would have liked to have different colors for uh, across the lineup. I think you can order them in black as well, I, that's, that's one, one colorway I saw. But other than that, all the shoes have the same color which doesn't really help to um, tell them apart uh, one between the, the other. Another common feature is the TPU clip around the heel. So this is the gray part that you can see here, it's really hard. The three shoes have it. However, it is a bit smaller and it goes less uh, to the front of the, of the midsole on the Liberate, the 110 euros uh, shoe. It goes a bit uh, further uh, here on the Deviate and on the Velocity as well. Final common feature between the shoes is um, the grip of the outsole. The pattern isn't exactly the same and the amount of rubber isn't the same either, but you have an excellent grip on all of these shoes. Now, differences. The first and biggest difference is that the Deviate comes with a carbon fiber plate in it. The Velocity comes with an EVA insert here um, in the heel area to uh, increase uh, both the stability and the durability of the shoe. And um, in terms of heels, 
both uh, deliberate and deviate have very uh, streamlined heel collars and very thin tongs whereas um, on the velocity you have a way more padded heel collar the thong is also thin but uh, the heel collar and the overall amount of padding in this area is way um, higher on the velocity third point we want to discuss today positive i will try to quickly give you at least one for each shoe let's start with um, the liberate the liberate is really flexible really supple it doesn't have any uh, specific rocker hard geometry to it and it's a fantastic uh, shoe it's marketed as a racing flat but you can really use it as uh, a daily trainer up tempo shoe it works fantastically well at all sort of different paces and um, the lockdown is fantastic on this shoe so lots of positive for this one the velocity is a great solid all-rounder you can um, have it as your only shoe if you're looking uh, not to have a specific shoe rotation but only one shoe for 2021 it could be the velocity very consistent through the bases very stable the comfort is good uh, but i will come back to that in the drawbacks uh, for me the heel is too padded let's let's discuss this in the drawbacks and positive points for the deviate it's um, a carbon fiber plated shoe that comes at a reasonable price 160 um, euros is uh, quite low compared to other carbon fiber plated shoes so that's uh, a good point it's not too aggressive and um, you don't have that uh, unstable ride compared to other uh, plated shoes so that's also a good thing and the upper uh, engineered mesh upper is fantastic on this shoe very breathable uh, very light um, and it works really well so that's uh, a lot of um, positive for this shoe now drawbacks for all of them uh, starting with the liberates i would say that um, heel strikers may lack of um, rubber on the outsole and overall lack of uh, stability in the heel but it's it's not a stability shoe by any means so that's not really a, a drawback other than that this shoe doesn't have many drawbacks it's a really well thought and um, um, accomplished shoe so yeah um, not, not many drawbacks for this one drawbacks for the velocity um, as mentioned uh, earlier the padding in the heel is excessive for me and um, it rubs my heel when when running so i don't know if it's the shape of um, my heel or in general is it um, too much contact for every runner in this area but clearly it's it's overmade of a build in the in the heel and uh, and that's a drawback for me the upper is is um, is good but it's not as good as on on the two two other shoes so you know something that puma may want to consider in a further iteration and um the, the, the nitro, uh, nitrogen infused uh, foam is good on this one too. It's responsive, uh, peppy, but it's not as good as on, on uh, for instance, the Liberate where it really expresses itself. I think that's also due to the weight of this shoe, 297 in my size. It's a bit heavy. Um, so yeah, probably it, it doesn't give um, much room for um, expression to the, to the nitro uh, foam which makes it a bit firm and um, it's responsive, it's nice, but maybe on, on the firm side and uh, it maybe lacks a bit of, um, you know, that um, uh, nice um, pop filling, which is also the drawback I can uh, give you for uh, this one, the DV8 Nitro. It doesn't have that, that pop filling that other carbon fiber plated shoe um, may have. So that's, uh, that's a, a drawback for me. And here again, the, the nitrogen infused nitro foam from Puma is, I would say, underexploited um, because probably also uh, of the weight of the shoe. So the, the foam simply doesn't uh, express itself very well on, on this one either, which, which is a bummer because it's nicely priced. It's, I think, well, um, well engineered, but uh, clearly, the, the nitro foam doesn't work really well here. The ride is um, is stable and comfortable. That's that's okay, but it lacks of that race feeling. You know, D-Day type of, of shoe you would use um, during the race, 
And um, clearly that's a drawback for a shoe which is uh, marketed as a, a race shoe. It's a very good trainer, but, but that's it for me. Um, the lockdown on this one is really poor as well. I had some, some heel slippage. Um, uh, so, I mean, the, the lockdown is the worst of the three shoes. It's on the Deviate. And for some reason, it just doesn't work. Um, you can try any, any sort of lacing or thick socks, whatever, the lockdown isn't good. And it's, it's quite weird because it actually looks similar in terms of color and um, uh, padding here with these bolsters on the side to the Liberate, which has a fantastic lockdown. And here, it just doesn't work, so uh, quite strange. Fifth and final thing you should know and uh, consider before buying any of these, my preference and who I recommend each shoe for. Um, let's start with the recommendations. The Liberate is a fantastic shoe for pretty much anyone, maybe except heavy runners or stability runners. But other than that, it's really um, a racing flat you can take for uh, your daily training, your up-tempo paces, and it works fantastically well. It has that flexible um, feeling that uh, isn't very present nowadays on, um, on shoes on the market. And um, yeah, it's, it's really nice. It's uh, cushioned, but yet you have uh, a very good uh, ground contact feel with that uh, lower uh, stack height in the forefoot. So um, yeah, uh, very, very good shoe. Uh, the velocity, people looking for uh, one shoe in their rotation, they can take for pretty much anything. It's consistent through the bases, it's stable and I think it's uh, quite durable, 120 euro price point is great for this shoe. So yeah, people who don't want to necessarily build a full shoe rotation can go for this one, no issue whatsoever. The Nitro Foam is firm, but still works very well. So that's um, a shoe you may want to consider. And uh, the Deviate, people who are looking for um, a carbon fiber plated shoe, to begin with and that maybe don't want to spend that 250 to 75 300 euros um, on a carbon fiber plated shoe may be interested in this one at 160 but more as a trainer than as a race shoe um, it's very stable so people looking for a plated shoe with that stability can be interested in this one and it compares quite well with the hyperion elite 2 from brooks if you know that shoe it can be a good comparison point uh, for you and my preference between uh, these three shoes it goes to the to the, to the liberates i mean um, this shoe is uh, not so expensive 110 euros it has a fantastic lockdown the mono mesh is a very light very well designed it's a it's a fantastic incredible feature on on this shoe the the ride you have on this um, is very enjoyable um, very responsive. The Nitro Foam can express itself very well on this shoe because of the light weight. And overall, um, Puma did a great job with the Liberate, so I'm going with the Liberate. The other two shoes are good, but um, they, they don't necessarily have that wow effect for me, whereas the Liberate has it and, um, and it's, it's really nice. Um, I, I can compare it, for instance, to uh, previous versions of uh, the Adidas uh, Boston or Adios, um, with that boost midsole. Here you have something maybe, um, you know, a bit more um, bouncy and responsive compared to, to the boost and it's, it's really light, so a great shoe. All right, that's it for today with the Puma Nitro uh, lineup. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you uh, for uh, subscribing, liking, commenting as always. Um, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.